Welcome to another episode of Science with Mr. Duel. In this episode, I make my car cool. Before I start today's episode, I just want to give a huge shout out and say thanks to Pro Speed Racing for coming on board to sponsor my humble channel. Now if you don't know, Pro Speed Racing is 100% Australian owned and are the parent company to Nvidia Exhaust. Pro Speed Racing have sent me a heap of stuff. The next few episodes are going to be fully sick, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned to the end of this episode for a sick coupon code at Pro Speed Racing. So I got a bit excited and already opened the box and the first thing I saw was some really detailed instructions and now this is, I don't know how many pages, but it's all in colour. And take it from me, I'm a teacher, coloured prints are worth quite a lot, you know, I can't even get coloured prints at school unless I get, I get it signed off by my boss. And here it is, just 20 or so pages, fully detailed, fully sick. Some Pretty cool. There's some pretty cool stickers. I think there's another one somewhere in there. The pipes. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh man. Not, probably won't use that, but that looks sick. Let's go! Just a refresher on where the intercooler sits and what it does in a car. In this situation, it's specific to my car, but generally it applies to every car. Here we have Australia's best boxer printed on the boxer engine as you're on the gas. The turbo will spool up, it sucks air through the intake, the turbo will transfer it up through the intercooler and this is where the air gets condensed and cooled before it gets passed on through the engine for it to be used in a combustion reaction. After that the exhaust gases are expelled through the exhaust. So the first step is to remove the factory intercooler and that's what it says in the instructions. It doesn't actually tell me how to do it, so let's give it a go. Right now, I'm not a mechanic or anything, I'm just a science teacher, I'm a regular bloke. And honestly, this, this mod does seem pretty daunting to me. And I'm scared I want to make my car go complete cactus. Now the problem with top mount intercoolers is that it's right at the top of the engine bay. Now when things have kinetic energy or when things move, it transfers or it loses its energy or converts its energy to heat. Now if you know a thing or two about the particle theory of matter or if you know a thing or two about the convection cycle and convections, you'll know that hot things tend to rise. So the turbo is right down at the bottom of this engine bay. Over time it gets hot and so does the engine when it's working and that hot air rises to the top and the hot air has nowhere to go because this is covering the top. Right, so the elements at the top of the engine bay, they start to heat soak and this being metal, it starts to soak the heat. Now and because this is so thin and so small, there's a very small surface area for the heat to soak and this happens pretty quickly. And if you watch my previous video, I've said that after about 40 to 50 minutes, I noticed that this car starts to suffer from heat soak. Now, the idea of the vertical one is to allow air to go through and escape through the back very efficiently. Now the air is coming straight through here, so the air comes through this way and it hits the intercooler to cool the air before it goes to the engine. Now the stock intercooler is lying almost horizontally. So the air that is coming through the hood scoop, it has to change direction and go down before it can hit this intercooler. So as the air comes through here and it cools the air going into the engine, there's excess air that has to go somewhere and it needs to exit the engine bay. How does it do that? It goes underneath the intercooler just behind the engine. And now because this is lying so flat, the air has to change direction once to hit the intercooler and it has to change direction again to exit through the back of the engine bay. 
what the vertical does is it sits almost vertical, just 15 degrees, the vertical axis sits back a little bit, so the air, in theory, straight into the intercooler or the vertical lug without changing direction and exits through the back of the vertical lug without a change in direction. Let's get this off and see how we go. Intercoolers are essential for turbocharged and supercharged engines. The purpose of an intercooler is to reduce the intake charged air temperature. Cold air is denser than warm air. That's the simplest and most important application of the particle theory of matter. You would rather have 20 psi of cold air than 20 psi of warm air because the same volume of air when it's cold is so much denser and will carry many more oxygen particles. With an increase in oxygen delivery to the engine, it will allow you to burn more fuel and ultimately generate more power. Intake air gets compressed by the turbo, which is why it gets hot. When the hot charged air goes through the intercooler, the tubes in the intercooler absorb the heat and allow for the air to condense and become cooler. The heat absorbed by the tubes then transfer to the fins, which dissipate the heat to the atmosphere. Alright, so just a comparison on the size. If you have a look in terms of length, horizontal length, it's not that much different. The stock one might even be a little bit taller. But if I change to look at the width, this here is the money shot. The process West Verticooler is probably twice the thickness. And honestly, I reckon that is a sorry ass excuse for a cheap intercooler. I mean, it works well for, I guess, the money you pay for the car, a stock car. But I reckon that is smaller than the intercooler in my 2018 i30. Look at it. This is probably why I'm having issues. And you have a look at the thickness again. All right, because the surface area is so much smaller than this one when the volume of air that this can hold is so much smaller than the verticaler, this soaks up heat a lot more quickly in the engine bay. Now this thing is absolutely huge, it's so substantial. It's quality stuff. Quality, quality stuff. Let's get this in the car. An added advantage of the verticaler is in its thickness, especially under low boost. Because it is much thicker than the stock intercooler, it takes a lot longer and much higher temperatures to be completely heat soaked. But when it does get completely heat soaked, for example, if you're run of track running at high boost, it will take the verticaler much longer to cool down because of its thickness. That being said though, it still takes a much longer time to heat soak over the stock intercooler under both low or high boost. And in my opinion, it's definitely a must-have modification for your car. Okay, again with the comparison, have a look at the stock charge pipe. That is a sorry example of a charge pipe for a turbo car. It's tiny. I probably fit this over it like a glove if it was flexible. Honestly, that's just that's a sorry example, hey. Gotta take the O-ring and reuse this for the Process West parts. Let's go. Here's the flange going on the turbo inlet. Process West flange, it looks so cool. It's super lightweight, it's probably really sturdy as well. Use the factory O-ring, let's chuck it on, and that's good to go back on the turbo. Yeah, yeah. Processed West is an Australian brand with Australian designed and engineered product. This verticaler is state of the art and according to my tuner, is one of if not the best designed top mount intercoolers for this car. The way it's designed, constructed, even down to the tubes and fins on the intercooler. Everything just works. It's designed with air efficiency in mind. The almost vertical mounting angle allows a highly efficient air exit path through the back of the engine bay for a shallow, cool and low restriction exit path. There's even a whole new air duct kit that bolts straight onto your hood to direct the air straight onto the fins of the intercooler. Under low boost, 
the intake air temperature can get up to about 70 to 80 degrees Celsius and in excess of 100 degrees Celsius under high boost. Testing by Process West has found that the outlet temperature after the charged air has been through the stock intercooler dropped to about 50 degrees Celsius and to about 26 degrees Celsius for the verticaler. So here you can see it sits so flush, so nicely, it's almost vertical. There's so much room at the back, I can't move my camera in there. But there's a lot more room and it's a lot easier for the air to come through and up the back. Okay, so it's actually been a few days since I finished installing this vertical now. Now literally the next day, the next morning after I installed the verticaler, I went on a road trip with my mates and I took this car. We drove about two and a half hours up north and this car did not slack off, not even once. Right, so I'm really impressed with the performance of the verticaler so far. Now it's not a mod where you jump in and feel immediate power increase or an immediate difference. It's not what it's designed to do. It's designed to keep the engine running cooler and not heat soak as fast as a stock intercooler would. Now to feel the full effects of the intercooler or the verticaler, you would need to get a tune. That's what's happening in the next episode. So make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video and hit the bell icon. And again, thanks to Pro Speed Racing for coming on board to sponsor my modest channel. Pro Speed Racing are 100% Aussie owned and 100% Aussie operated. They are one of the biggest retailers for car parts and car mods in Australia. They stock up on parts for all Japanese and all European cars. Now if you're in Australia, there's a $15 flat rate shipping fee. And from my experience, the shipping was so good. I had to wait for a few things to come in because they were out of stock. Now when it did come in, I got an email notification at about six or seven o'clock in the morning saying that it was on board for delivery. And later that day, later that same afternoon, the packages arrived right at the front door. So my experience, it was great. And when you shop with Pro Speed Racing, you know you are supporting an Australian business. If you need car parts or if you want to shop at Pro Speed Racing, you can use my coupon code to support the channel. This coupon code gives you 10% off store wide except for COB and IAG products. And here's the real kicker if there's an existing discount, you can use my 10% discount for an extra discount on top of the shop existing discount. And Black Friday is coming up real soon, so if you need something, you can use my code stack on top of that and you'll be getting a mad deal on top of fast shipping thanks for watching guys if you like what you've seen please consider hitting that like button or even subscribing to the video it would really mean a lot if you need car parts again use my code it supports the channel but it also supports an australian business and you get a mad discount on car parts thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode